Patterns have a magical way of capturing attention and bringing a touch of flair to any artwork, design, even your personal projects. And the best part, when you can make them seamlessly repeat perfectly, it's not only kind of fascinating, but super satisfying. If you've been wondering how to make your unique designs into tileable patterns, you're in the right place. I generally like to do my seamless patterns in a program called Affinity Designer because I can see a live preview as I go. But I know that not everyone wants to learn a new program. So today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a seamless pattern and test it in Procreate. Seamless patterns are really popular right now, and it doesn't look like that's changing anytime soon. The appeal of patterns comes from the way they balance creativity and structure. The repetition and continuity in patterns creates a sense of harmony and balance, and that can be very visually pleasing and soothing to the eye. The versatility of patterns make them valuable tools for people looking to enhance their projects with a consistent and appealing visual element. Patterns can be used in a wide range of applications from graphic design to textiles, even packaging. Here are some of the seamless patterns that I've been working on in Procreate. I do have a pattern testing site set up. This is absolutely free to use. And this is great to check patterns as you go, especially in Procreate where you don't have a live preview. You can set this up in split screen view with Procreate. And then you can drop any image or one of your Procreate layers onto here to test your pattern. So if you've done a copy all and paste it on top here, you can drag this layer right on here and you can preview your pattern. And this slider will allow you to adjust how big those tiles are. You can see if you have any major holes or big lines within your pattern. For my patterns, I like to use a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas. And we're just going to do a basic geometric pattern for this one, just to learn the process. Grab any brush that you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just use a monoline brush with my Summer Vibes color palette here. And we'll just start drawing some shapes. Quick shape makes this really easy. Push and hold, and then if you tap your finger on the screen, you can get a perfect circle. Let's go ahead and fill that in make a few of these at some different sizes and some different colors. And some of these can be pretty close to the edge, they just can't actually cross over. We're going to fill in those gaps later on. Maybe yellow, I want to be triangles. And these can go different directions. Different sizes. You just wanna have some variety in your pattern. And I generally don't fill it in too much on my first go around until I actually look at it in a pattern tester and see where I wanna fill things in. So what I might do is take three fingers, swipe down, copy all, add a new layer, three fingers swipe down and paste. And go ahead and run this into my pattern tester just to see how we're looking. Let's go ahead and drag that layer over here. All right, so those blue circles are looking pretty good. orange ones are kind of stacked right underneath it, so I think I might move that over a little bit. That's something that you can kind of tell by looking at your pattern. So I can take my selection tool here, make sure you're on the correct layer. Go ahead and hide that one. Grab your selection tool, freehand, and just make a circle around that one. Come to transform, and then I'm just gonna nudge this over a little bit so it's more offset. So this one right here is what was in a straight line over here. That's how you can use this pattern tester as you go 
to make sure that your pattern looks really nice. And these ones are in kind of a line as well, as I can see if I look here. But I'm gonna offset this one as well with my selection tool. And I might rotate it and scooch that over. Let's give this another test. Copy all. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this layer and just use that for my test. Then I can drag this new one over here and that's already looking better. And we can go ahead and hide that and add a few more things to this. Let's go ahead and take another look at this. Clear that layer, paste, and pull up our pattern tester. All right, I like the way that that's getting filled in. Let's go ahead and close that. And we're gonna move on to our first step in making this pattern. I'm gonna turn this one off. So I still have those original shapes if I need them or I wanna make a change. We're gonna duplicate this three times so we have a total of four. Swipe left to duplicate and you always wanna duplicate the bottom one. Now we're going to move these into the four corners. And this needs to be really precise. So when we're in our transform tool, we wanna to make sure that we have snapping turned on. So on the top layer, we're going to nudge this up and over until we see gold lines on the top and the side. That's just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other three corners. If you're having a hard time getting that, make sure that your other layer down here is turned off because it may be trying to snap to something down below. All right, and now we can fill in some of these other gaps. Add a new layer at the top, and that's where we're gonna draw our art in case we wanna make any changes. You can always sample colors with your finger if you don't wanna go back to the palette as well. just mixing up these shapes and these colors just to get a really abstract look here. Let's take another look at our pattern now. Copy all, add a new layer, and paste. And we'll just drag this new one on top. And now we can see it's filling in pretty nicely, but we do have these white lines here. So looking at where those are in the pattern, looks like we need to have some things cross right about here, and that will help take care of some of that white line. We'll turn that off and make sure we're drawing on the correct layer. Let's see if that's enough to help fill in some of that gap. Copy all. Let's clear this. Paste. And let's drag this new one over. All right, that helped a lot. You can repeat this process back and forth as many times as you need to get a pattern that you like. If you did wanna make any changes, you would have to go back to your original pattern because you've already cut it up and split it into these multiple pieces. So just something to be aware of. That's why I like to check multiple times as I'm going. 
or alternatively, why I like to use Affinity Designer because you can see a live preview of your pattern as you go. Once you're happy with your preview, then your pattern is done. And this is something that you could share on social media, you could upload to a bunch of different sites for things like surface pattern design, etc. And I would obviously have cleaned this up quite a bit as I went along. This was done really quickly just to show the process. But that same process will work for really intricate patterns as well. This one has a lot of depth and clippy masks in it. This one has shading, it even has a different text. Pretty much anything you can think of, you can make into a pattern. Here's another general geometric one, it looks kind of like shattered crystal, which I really like. And these ones are fun, kind of just quick sketch ones. A little bit of a beach theme and outer space. The main thing is to just have fun and pick something that you are going to enjoy working on. When you're ready to share it, you're just going to go to your wrench icon to share and choose your file type. Probably most often a JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF. I hope you found that helpful. I love showing people how to combine creativity and technology on this channel. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you take just a quick second to give me a thumbs up down below. It really does help out my small channel and just tells YouTube that more people should watch this. If you're ready to learn some more Procreate tips and tricks, make sure that you watch this video next.